So this is adapted from the work of Virgie Tovar, so you know it's going to be a huge steaming turd. A Young Person's Guide to Identifying Weight Stigma. Great, because we need to educate people to be dumber than they already are. Three Ways It Can Show Up, adapted from the work of Virgie Tovar. Wow, this is going to be a train wreck. All right, Intrapersonal Weight Stigma. Matt Damon. Just going to hit that again. Private Thoughts. Quote, if I was skinnier, I would look better. If I lose weight, more guys will like me. Let's be honest, probably. I mean, if you're obese, yeah. Same thing with guys. If you're in better shape, more women will like you. It's just a fact. Um, Healthier people. Anyway, I will be healthier once I lose weight. If you have too much weight on your body, it's a result of you not being healthy. So if you lose the weight, it just one comes with the other. Quote, I gained weight because I am lazy. Or you did the wrong things. You could be active and just overeating and stuffing your face with crap and still gain weight. You mean you gained fat because you're lazy? It's probably a component, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a component. It could also just be you're just eating way too much shit and you're overeating for your activity level. Uh, I need to get rid of these extra pounds I gained over the summer. You shouldn't have gained them to begin with. So you should because it's a health concern. Just remember, it's an outcome. It's the result of poor lifestyle habits. So if you have poor lifestyle habits, it's going to lead to you getting fatter and not being as healthy. It's pretty commonsensical. You'd think so. Uh, This is again what, so they all say interpersonal weight stigma. Okay, so this is number two. This is a second slide. Interpersonal weight stigma again. Inter. So the first one was intra. So that's you thinking with yourself. Private thoughts. This is bullying, teasing, and fat talk between people. Fat talk between people. Okay. Quote, she'd be hot if she just lost some weight. It's been said many times. It's just a fact. It's not bullying or teasing. It's, how about this? This person would look a lot better if they were more healthy. That's not incorrect. You might not like it, but it doesn't make it incorrect. And plus, it's an opinion. So people are attracted to different things. Some people are attracted to obese people. You've seen them. Uh, Oh my God, you look amazing. You got so skinny. I don't know if anyone's ever said it like that. You got so skinny or like, man, you look so skinny. Like you lost a lot of weight and guess why you probably look amazing because you look healthier. You're not supposed to be carrying around 200 pounds of extra human. So you're going to look better if you don't have X tons of extra body fat. Does it, it doesn't make you a less valuable person. It just makes you a less healthy person. So stop taking this like an internal attack attack on your identity. It's just a statement about your health and your well being, which is, Yeah, you can judge a book by its cover in many cases, especially when it comes to health. Ew, he's so fat. That's an opinion. Is it weight stigma? No. Someone's opinion. I don't think it's attractive. I don't think it's good looking when someone's fat. I don't hate the person. I just don't like it. I I, I don't like it when someone doesn't take care of themselves. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't respect it doesn't mean I'm going to bully someone and spit on them or I don't know, not be nice to their face. Uh, quote, maybe you should try to eat less carbs because it's starting to show that eh, doesn't necessarily have to be the carbs, but you all know that most people eat garbage quality foods. So if you exchange that for eating shitty quality foods, like, Hey, maybe you should try to take better care of your health because you're starting to get fat. I guess some people talk to each other like that. It's not incorrect advice per se, but It's not necessarily the carbs. Um, Last one. Ugh, I feel so fat and lazy today. Maybe you do. Sometimes you might be retaining a little extra water. It's the concept because feeling fat or feeling fat correlates to the idea of being fat, which means you just can't move well. You're more exhausted. You're not as strong. You're not as capable. So that's the reason why it's associated with that. And fat should be considered bad. It should be more acceptable to be like, yeah, being fat. How much fat? Come on. If you're five pounds overweight or 10 pounds over, like you have extra fat, is that, oh my God, you're going to die? No, but it also wouldn't be the case if you were taking better care of yourself. But people fluctuate weight all the time, but you know, this is just being weaponized in order to like fight against all of this shit. But a lot of this is people's opinions. They're going to have them. So you can't change what people think. You can't change what people say. You can't control what other people do. You can just not be such a pussy and internalize it. Or you can take better care of your health and then you wouldn't have to worry about any of this stuff. 
be more confident, love yourself and take care of it. Or it, rather than trying to justify being fat as if that's a power play. Uh, we have institutional weight stigma because the world is evil and needs to be burned to the ground. So you can just not have your feelings hurt. Of course, we know this. Uh, the way most of the world is currently set up, you always know this. You always know that this is what people that have never really been anywhere. People that talk about this shit have never been around the world. Now, I'm not worldly traveled, but I read and I'm educated on other situations in the world. So if you're complaining about weight stigma, you haven't been around. You don't, you're not educated on the fucking hardships that people go through in this world. If you're arguing because people should love me because I'm fat, you are living probably in the United States or the UK. You are in a first world country and you have no hardships and you should shut the fuck up. That's usually the case. All right. So this is institutional weight stigma, quote unquote. Discrimination on the basis of body size is still legal in many states. Discrimination on the basis. How so? You can't just say that shit and not describe what you mean. What type of discrimination? Not hiring a morbidly obese flight attendant. One, poundage. Two, you're not able to walk through the aisles easily to help people. Like, what are you talking about? Like, it's still legal? Discrimination on the basis of, it should be legal. In what case? In what sense? Like, if you have a job that requires someone to be very agile, and there's a lot of, like, sensitive stuff and materials and everything, tight spaces, you can't be morbidly obese. This is ridiculous. All right, medical care is often substandard. Doctors receive little training in weight stigma. They receive a lot of training in in emergency care and helping you, uh, take care and, you know, maybe prescribe drugs. And I'm not saying the medical system is great. It's a fucking hot mess, but they shouldn't receive training and weight stigma. They shouldn't, they should continue to re re receive better training in guiding people to live healthier lifestyles. Medical care should be more functional medicine, um, with a team of practitioners that are guiding people with healthier lifestyle habits, not just here, take these pills. We'll see you in a year. Okay, so they shouldn't receive any training in weight stigma. It's a good thing that they receive little training because it has nothing to do with it. If you're unhealthy, they will know about it, whether or not they're actually giving good advice and you're taking it. Now, that's a whole other thing. You're talking about people that complain about getting weighed, so go fuck yourself. Chair sizes in schools and offices are not built to hold bodies above a certain size. Yeah, because bodies should not be above a certain size because you are in a first world country where you have an abundance of food and you're able to do most of your things with your thumbs staring at a fucking screen, your bodies are getting abnormally large, okay? Chair sizes in schools and offices should not be built larger and larger to suit your passive approach to your own personal livelihood and your health. So it's not that the chair sizes are not big enough, it's that you're too fucking big to fit in the goddamn chairs. Doesn't that ring some alarm bells? Of course not, it's not your fault, is it? Airline requirements that larger body people purchase two seats. You know why? Because you take up two of them. You take up two seats. So you should take up two seats. Understand that if you want the seats to be bigger, you're going to be paying two or three times the price for a flight. And then you're going to be complaining about, oh, they're charging so much more. Yeah, you have to pay for two seats. If, you, if you're sitting in two seats, if your ass covers two fucking seats, you got to pay for it. Okay, you're taking up the seat that someone else can't sit in. So you're telling me that you should pay for one seat, but you can take up two seats. How the fuck does that make sense? Drive a car, take a bus if you complain that much, all right? Or buy a, a fancy or, or more expensive ticket with more space. Limited clothing sizes and styles by many brands. Brands are not required to make clothes for you. This is because people have been getting so much fatter so quickly that a lot of brands can't adapt and or they don't make clothes targeting. You're not their audience. There are plenty of brands that make plus size clothing or look at that business opportunity. Then you can make a lot of money and you can shut the fuck up. Why don't you make it yourself? How about that? Start a business, be an entrepreneur. Then you stop complaining and then you can make clothing. But if there were bigger clothing size, you complain about the price. Well, if you're using twice as much cloth, it's going to cost twice as much, for example. Yeah, no one, there's no freebies, no freebies. 